ओम सदाशिवसमारंभा शंकराचार्यमतिहासमदाचार्यपर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा श्रुतिस्मृतिपुराणी कृणाल नमा भगवत्द शंकर लोकशंकर शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव बादरायण सूत्रभाष्यकृत वंदे भगवत पुनः ईश्वरो गुरुरात्मे मूर्ति भेद विभागिनी व्योमदेहाय दक्षिणाूर्त नम ओं सहनावत सहन वृक्त सह वीर करवाह तेजस्वीतमस्तमाचावी ओं शांचाचाच ओं यो ब्रह्मांडातिदागुश्च प्रहीणोति तस्म तगुम हेवत्मबुद्धि प्रकाश मुक्षुरोय शरण हूं प्रपद्य ओं शांचाचाची कामनाया तेज संसिध्यमाजितनंदघनमापूर्णमात्मज्योतिपास्मे He looked it at the sutra arth of twenty second. Prakrutaita vatvam hi pratishedati tato braviti cha bhuja. Uh, I think we have seen the uh, we have seen the sutra arth, right? I updated the document so I lost the bookmark. Have we seen the sutra arth? Someone? Yeah. सो एनी वे प्रकृताये तवत्व ही प्रतिषेधति दि श्रुति निगेट्स ओनली व्हाट वाज प्राप्त इन द कॉन्टेक्स्ट एतावत्व ओनली दैट मच व्हिच इज इन द प्रकृत प्रकृत एतावत्व प्रकृते यदि एतावत्व तदेव प्रतिषेधति श्रुति ही न तु अन्यत किम किमपि फॉर एग्जांपल इफ एंड ततो ततः ब्रवीति जे भूयः देयर आफ्टर आल्सो states the same thing to that effect meaning brahma itself is not negated the rupas two rupas of brahma murta amurta they are negated for example imagine uh, you meet a friend after a long time and you are discussing some common friend who say devadatta you haven't seen devadatta since a long time and uh, in that uh, village or wherever you are you just uh, recall oh devata had uh, two houses here so if you say devata has has two houses here and the other person says uh, no he does not have uh, they are not there anymore devata has two houses is what you say in this uh, town village or city whatever and your friend says they aren't there anymore so what do you understand by that the pronoun there or those are not there they are not there they are not there means the houses in the context are not there does not mean that uh, devadatta is also not there devadatta will not stand negated because in the context you are discussing devadatta having two houses and they are not there will connect the pronoun they will connect only with those two houses and not with devadatta although this can kind of confusion can be there for a person who does not know how language constructs work or what the context is somebody else hears uh, passer by he has just heard devadatta and in a say uh, some indian language where plural is used for another person also you know in hindi we have been here so he may have not heard the two houses that person may conclude that devadatta we devadatta nahi rahe that devadatta is no longer there but the listener who has heard the entire context knows that those two houses are not there it is not that devadatta is negated similarly here shruti negates only the two rupas murta and amurta of devad uh, of brahma but not brahma itself atra purva pakshe brahma siddhi siddhante tat siddhir mini brahma siddhi ite phala bheda purva pakshi says that brahma is not established as रियल वस्तु वेर एज सिद्धांति से इज दैट ब्रह्म इज एस्टाब्लिश इन दृति ऑल ओवर द्वेवाव ब्रह्मणो रूपे मूर्ते चुवा मूर्ते चीज उपक्रम्य अथात आदेश नेति नेति श्रूयते सो वॉट इज ए कॉन्टेक्स्ट देर वेर नेति नेति कम्स अप न इति न इति वॉट इज नॉट देर बिफोर दैट वॉट इज वॉट इज द्वेवाव ब्रह्मण रूपे रूपे इज द्विवचन दपुंसकलिंग रूपम रूपे रूपाणी जस्ट गिव मे मोमेंट प्लीज 
<coughs> so two dwe rupe who is who has two forms brahma brahma indeed vava brahma has two manifest two uh, forms actually two uh, forms is very uh, misleading because form cannot be amurta form unmanifest form you can say those who understand can know there can be a subtle unmanifested form and a manifested form also so rupe murte cha eva amurte cha indeed there are two forms one is murta and the other of course is amurta iti upakramya having opened so the section says what athata adesho neeti neeti iti shruyate this is a mantra which is heard so in upasamhara अध्यारोपित अध्यारोप इज द्वेवाव ब्रह्मण रूपे मूर्ते चैवा मूर्ते च देन इन उपसंहार विच इज अपवाद स्थानीय अपवाद इज देन वॉट एवर इज प्राप्त ऑलरेडी नोन दैट इज निगेटेड ब्रह्म इज कार्य दिस इज द अंडरस्टैंडिंग और ब्रह्म हैज कार्य ऑल्सो दिस प्रपंच इज ब्रह्म कार्य so who is the karana brahma ishvara is karana therefore the karyatva is prapta and karya kartrutvam is prapta karanatvam in brahma the prapancha is murta and prapancha also has amurta karya there is a there is an amurta karana also so murta amurta are the manifest karyas also and karanatva is also there amurta unknown indriya gochara therefore that is also unmanifest karana is unmanifest in karya also you have manifest unmanifest or manifest grossly and manifest subtle in a subtle manner for example vayu akasha akasha is the subtlest in but it is still manifest but amurta manifestation so you can say murta manifestation which can be cognized by sense organs and some things which may not be easily cognizable by sense organs that is still manifest but subtle for example antakarana we don't know vrittis we know but we cannot cognize antakarana antakarana modifies into the vritti so by vrittis we understand there is something called as antakarana by emotions we understand by buddhi we understand by buddhi vritti so all these are manifest but subtle so they can be understood as amurta as well and then shruti negates this karyatva as well as karanatva in brahma meaning the dharmas which are discussed murta amurta the amurta karanatva is also negated but brahma itself is not negated dharmas are negated athat adesha atha atah adesha what is the adesha adesha is teaching what is the teaching thereafter after understanding all the adhyaropa what is prapancha prapancha gata murta and amurta finally all that is not really there brahma alone is there who is nirguna nirvishesha says the shruti na iti na iti murtam na amurtam cha na iti karyam na karanam cha na iti so na iti na iti twice because the pairs are negated one is negated the other has a dependency or expectancy of the earlier so when you say brahma is karana there is an expectancy of karya if karya is negated as not being independent not being real not having independent existence then having negated the karya karana cannot be a term be used does not mean karana is not there the swarup of karana is brahma that is there karanatva is not there karya is negated wholesale karya is nothing but nama roopa there is nothing other than nama roopa because nama roopa itself is karya karana itself appears with nama roopa 
meaning the adhisthana itself appears as the superimposed the superimposed are what names and forms the mrtika the clay is shaped up as a pot as a plate etc these are names of the same clay so when you take away the name and form you you say that there is no pot other than clay there is no plate other than clay there is no lid other than lid clay lid other than clay there is no clay pot other than clay there is no gold bangle other than gold there is no gold ring other than gold there is no gold necklace other than gold there is no gold crown other than gold. all these are names and forms which are negated gold cannot be negated but gold as a karana clay as a karana that karanatva is negated because if karya is not there if there is no effect then where is the cause why should it be called as a cause the cause is in its swarupa it is there because karya also really in its swarupa is what karana itself and when karya with name and form is taken away karana is given a name and form will it take away the karana no it will take the karanatvam away but karana will not go away the word karana is used for vyavahara but the adhisthana itself remains clay remains it is clay only it is not a it is not a cause at all because cause for what for pot and lid etc pot and lid have been negated as only being mere name and form of the same clay different name given for a clay, for clay different form or shape given to clay so what the clay is remains clay without the pot as karya you cannot call clay as karana because you, there is an expectancy karana of what if you say clay is still a cause for what pot has been taken away then what is it the cause for for a lid lid also has been taken away plate has been taken away so what is it a karana for every product being negated the causal status of the cause is also negated what remains is shuddha adhisthana just a lump of clay that's all it is nothing else just gold none of the gold products are real gold alone is real so gold cannot be called as a cause anymore because the effect has been negated completely sublated इति श्रूयते तत्र किं प्रपंच ब्रह्म चयमी निषिध्यति निषिध्यते उत एक सो वेदर प्रपंच ब्रह्म प्रपंच इज वॉट कार्य ब्रह्म इज कारण सो वेन दि नी नी सेट दि प्रपंच कार्य इज निगेटेड एंड अनदर सेकेंड न से इज दैट कारण इज निगेटेड सो दे प्रपंच इज कार्य ब्रह्म इज कारण आर बोथ निगेटेड रियली or only one is negated and if only one is negated is it prapancha which is negated or brahma which is negated that is the next question ekam ityatra api if if it is one then is it the former or the latter prapancha brahma va iti sandeh prapancha is negated or brahma is negated iti sandeh when such a doubt comes up niyamaka bhavad ubhayam api iti purva paksha one purva pakshi says that since there is no rule governing which is negated leading to such a conclusion we will say that both prapancha and brahma stands negated with neti neti adesha athava the second purva paksha is what another purva pakshi says athava prapanchasya pratyakshatvena nishedha sambhavat niravadika nisheda ayogad ekam brahma eva nishidhyate iti purva paksha the second purva paksha or second purva pakshi says what prapancha is available to indriyas it is gochara when the pot is there you cannot say pot isn't there because purva pakshi's understanding is there is no pot when the pot is seen clearly how can you say there is no pot that is his understanding siddhanti's understanding is what when you say there is no pot shruti says there is no real pot it means that the pot does not exist separate from the clay the existence of the pot belongs to the clay the appearance of the pot belongs to clay if you take away clay pot won't exist if you take away clay there is nothing called as pot there is no utility possible nothing at all will remain because everything that appears as a pot is clay the weight of the pot is the weight of the clay taking away clay what will remain if you tap on the pot to make out what is it is it a silver pot is it an iron pot 
it is painted in a silver color is it really silver so when you tap on it you hear clay so the sound of the pot is a sound of clay if you smell it and see you know in um, subhash ji will know uh, or everyone knows now famous in uh, bengal side is uh, you, you have uh, this matka dahi so dahi will taste like uh, with the taste of the pot the essence of the pot is there you smell it you taste it it is all clay so the taste of the pot the smell of the pot the touch of the pot everything everything is nothing but clay when you see it is clay when you understand that it is just painted over but it is clay you look at within it is not painted within you peek within you will see it is clay and when you tap also what do you the, the, the tapping is you hear a sound it is a sound of clay the touch it feels like clay from within if you just move your finger within the pot it feels clay so every indriya tells you it is nothing but clay so what makes it a pot the name vacharambhana vikaro namadhyam mrtika ityo satyam it is all created by see speech the duality the separation from the karana is created by a mere name being given nothing else everything else is clay you take away the name which is mithya what remains is pure karana and sarva karana karana is brahma so puro pakshi se niyama ka bhavad what tells you otherwise there is no statement which tells you as to only one of prapancha or brahma should be negated therefore ubhayam api iti puro paksha one puro paksha second is saying what prapanchasya pratyakshatvena prapancha is seen this is where we were i went back the pot is being seen by the puro pakshi and then i went to siddhanta what the siddhanti really means is not understood by the puro pakshi so another puro pakshi says or same puro pakshi gives another option if one has to be negated i will say both are negated if one of them has to be negated it cannot be prapancha because prapancha is indriya gochara you cannot say ghata has gone and clay remains siddhanti is saying ghata is not there clay is there and this clay is not karana for ghata because ghata is not there mrut is not karana pot is not there as a product if it is not there as a product it is just the clay appearing as pot this is what the siddhanti is saying what does it mean it means that pot is not the effect of clay anymore because pot is not really existent without the clay being its very being without clay as its very being pot does not exist this is what the siddhanti is saying which, which is the shruti saying with an example of course extended to sarva karana karana which is brahma no prapancha karya exists without brahma it is all brahma satta so if you take away the prapancha ghatapatadi nama you take away all these names and thereby group together all names have been called as prapancha that word goes away once it goes away then what remains what remains cannot be called as a cause anymore therefore the causal idea of this brahma or clay in the example also goes away it goes away is as soon as you remove the karya status effect status to pot this is what the siddhanti means this is what the shruti means but puro pakshi does not understand this therefore he says athwa prapanchasya pratyakshatvena ghata is seen being seen right now how do you say it is not there we ask him is it clay yes it is clay he says then how can you call it as a pot it is just a name without that name also it will remain only clay with the name also it remains only clay the clayness of the pot can never be taken away no matter what you do then where is the pot just because you call it different it does not make it different you know chaitra and maitra as kids they are fighting chaitra has something maitra claims it is it is his so consider a pen 
Maitra says that this is my pen. Just because you call it your pen does not make it your pen, says Chaitra. He is right. Chaitra says that no, this is this is my pen. I brought it. And Maitra says no, I claim it. I am calling it mine. Just because you call it with another, you know, claim, just like a name, it does not make it Maitra's. It will remain Chaitra's. Just a name change will not do anything. A pet is a better example. Imagine a pet, you know, a living entity, pet, given another name, belongs to Chaitra, Maitra claims this is mine. Why? He says this with another name. He calls it another name. Chaitra is calling uh, his pet as Arjuna and Maitra says, no, this is not Arjuna, this is uh, Karana. Just by calling Karana, Arjuna will not become Karana. He will remain Arjuna. Arjuna without the name Arjuna will also remain the same entity. The pet will re still remain Chaitra's, will never become Maitra's. This is what the Siddhanti is trying to say, but Puro Pakshi says, Athwa Prapanchasya Pratyakshatvena, I see this ghatta while seeing this ghatta, how can you take away? Oh, it has to be taken away while you are seeing itself. That is how jnana works. Therefore, Prapanchasya Pratyakshatvena, Puro Pakshi says, it is Pratyaksha to me, ghatapata adi prapancha, nisheda asambhavat, it cannot be negated at all. Since it cannot be negated because I am seeing it, then what is being negated really? Brahma is being negated. Brahma is never seen, never cognized by any Indriyas. Ghatapata Prapancha is seen. Brahma is not seen. I don't hear Brahma. I can't taste Brahma. So what proves that Brahma is there? So if I have to negate one based on Shruti, then Brahma will be negated, not Ghatapata Adi Prapancha, which is Pratyaksha, Nisheda Asambhavat, Prasya Prapanchasya. Niravadika Nisheda Ayoga Ekam Brahmaeva and since it cannot be negated Nisheda Ayoga Brahmaeva Nishidjati what will be negated by the Shruti later in Neti Neti what is negated is only Brahma Brahmaeva Nishidjati Iti Purva Paksha so two Purva Pakshas are there Siddhantastu Siddhanti says that Prakrutam Pradhanam Etavatum Iti Paparichinam Yat Brahmana Rupa Dvayam Siddhanti is very clear, clear as to what the Shruti is saying. He has no such options or confusions. He says it is very clear as to what is the context. Siddhanti is very clear on the context. Like the example we saw at the beginning of the Patha as to Devatta having two houses is a statement made earlier. Devadatta has two houses, says the one friend to the other, Chaitra to Maitra and Maitra says what? They are no longer there. Meaning the houses are not there, Devadatta is still there. So Prakrutam Pradhanam, what is the context, what is the main subject matter? Pradhanam, Prakrutam means Pradhanam. In the context, what is the what is the context means what? What is primary in the context? Etavattam, only this much. What is that much? Iyatta parichinnam. This Dvevava Brahmana Rupe. Murta is a parichinna Rupa. Amurta is also parichinna Rupa. So, Iyatta uh, parichinnam. Yat Brahmana Rupa Dvayam. What is there? Only two things. Only two things can be negated, which is mentioned. Rupa Dvayam. Tat prakruta etavattam. That is prakruta. Only that much. Etavattam means only that much. Prakruta. In the context, what is pradhana? What is that? Rupa dvaya. Brahma's rupa dvaya which has sammandha with Brahma. Adhyasika sammandha of course, but some sammandha. Shashti is there. Brahma itself does not mean two rupas. So, murta and amurta are rupas which belong to Brahma. So, when they are negated, what will be negated? Etavattam will be negated. Etavattam hi pratishedati shruti. What does the shruti negate by saying adesha neti neti? Tadeva pratishedati. Only rupa dvayam eva. Brahmana rupa dvayam eva. Murtam amurtam cha. Eva pratishedati neti neti. Tyadi shruti. Only that much the shruti negates. Neti neti shruti. Adesha iti shabdasya. Pradhanatvena prakruta rupa dvayam paravarshitatvat. 
परामर्शित्वा सॉरी परामर्शित्वा प्रकृत रूप द्वे परामर्शित्वा इफ यू इंक्वायर इन टू इट यू डू परामर्श ओ वॉट एक्साक्टली इज दिस न इति ने इति कनेक्टिंग टू टू थिंग्स हैव बीन निगेटेड न मूर्तम न न इति अमूर्तम न सो वेन यू डू परामर्श वॉट रूप द्वय विच इज इन दि कॉन्टेक्स्ट प्रकृत वॉट इज प्रधान मूर्त एंड अमूर्त रूप आर प्रधान प्रधान मीनिंग दे आर दि प्राइमरी सब्जेक्ट इन दि कॉन्टेक्स्ट दैट इज प्रकृत रूप द्वय सो दैट अलोन शब्द से प्रधान वॉट इज दि अर्था देर ऑफ इति शब्द देर वॉट इज मूर्त वॉट इज अमूर्त वॉट इज बींग डिस्कस्ड इन दि कॉन्टेक्स्ट एज दि प्राइमरी सब्जेक्ट मैटर दैट अलोन प्रकृत रूप द्वय परामर्शिवा because of understanding so why the vakya iti shabda is understood as standing for what murta iti and amurta murtam iti amurtam iti brahma tu na pradhanatvena prakrutam and in the context brahma is not primary there sab so, brahma has sambandha with the rupa dvaya brahma is not cannot be negated somebody owns something that is that goes away the owner does not go away he cannot be called as an owner all right because two things are not there he is not the owner of the two houses because two houses are not there they are either you know destroyed or sold off or whatever we take they are not there meaning destroyed assume that they are destroyed if they are destroyed then this devadatta cannot be called the owner of the two houses so the ownership is negated not devadatta himself devadatta will not go away at all he may have that feeling oh you know these two houses are destroyed due to whatever you know bhukampa ityadi some earthquake or whatever you know you have assumed something you can see you know oh this is this was everything you know this everything i you know i feel that i you know i, I don't feel myself i don't feel whatever you know everything that i have earned in, was in my two houses he may have such a feeling all right but he will not go away you know uh, in hindi you know all this sounds better in uh, languages that we are familiar familiar with where phrases are not translatable in english so in hindi you know mar gaya mar gaya both houses have gone he is not dying he says that oh, i am dead i am dead in english it won't sound good but then in hindi you have that feeling there or in any you know kannada bengali tamil whatever languages you have that feeling with which you express that is not there in english in that statement because such phrases are not there english also has a feeling with other statements but we are used to these kind of statements something goes away oh mar gaya oh i'm dead won't make sense in english but then that is the feeling that one expresses but doesn't mean that he is dead he is still there so even from devadatta's perspective if you see that oh you know as if i am not there anymore what will i live for you know everything that i owned entire life everything is gone so that can be a feeling but he is still there but brahma does not even have that does not have such connection such feelings are not possible so what is it brahma tu na pradhanatvena prakrutam dveva brahmano rupe iti rupa dvayatmaka jagad upasarjanatvena eva abhitatvat jagan upasarjanatvena jagat is primary there murt and amurt is what jagat and jagat is what this jagat is the swarupa atma of rupa dvay rupa dvayatmaka jagat what is the swarupa of jagat it is in the form of rupa dvaya murta and amurta so murta amurta swarupa rupa dvaya rupa dvayam atma yasya jagatah that jagat which has rupa dvaya as its very atma meaning swarupa atma is in the sense of swarupa rupa dvayam atma स्वरूपम यस्य जगतः तद जगत इज व्हाट रूप द्वयात्मकम जगत इन समासा कर्मधार एक्ट बिकम रूप द्वयात्मक जगत देन तस्य उपसर्जनत्वेन किम उक्तम ब्रह्म उक्तम उपसर्जन मीन सेकेंडरी टू दैट सेकेंडरी टू इन द कॉन्टेक्स्ट सो इन द कॉन्टेक्स्ट व्हिच इज सेकेंडरी द ओनर इज सेकेंडरी द संबंध मीनिंग व्हेन यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट Devadatta has two houses. Then two houses are the subject matter of the sentence, meaning they are the primary subject matter of the sentence. Who is Gauna there? Who is secondary? Devadatta is Gauna because he just has samanda with the two houses as ownership. But 
the discussion when you say they are destroyed they are not there that is not primarily connecting with devadatta at all the sentence construct that follows has connection with the primary subject matter of the earlier sentence which means what the two houses so rupa dvayatmaka murta and amurta forms of brahma is what jagat is jagat appears as murta and amurta gross and subtle and jagat upasarjana is what what is the what is secondary in the context to this jagat is brahma because the brahma's two rupas are called as jagat brahma has this brahma has sambandha with this in some kind of a sambandha but jagat is what primary there pradhana upasarjana secondary is brahma so brahma tu na pradhanatve na prakrutam why with the quotation we how will it correct brahma tu na pradhanatve vena prakrutam ूपद्वयात्मक जगद उपसर्जन ब्रह्मण अभीतवा ब्रह्म ईज इंटेडेड टू बी एक्सप्रेस्ड इन दैट सेंटेन्स एज सेकेंडरी टू जगत विच ईज हैविंग दीज टू फॉर्म्स एट इट स्वरूप एंड दे आर बोथ फॉर्म्स ऑफ ब्रह्म इतच ब्रह्मण न निषेध वॉट अनदर रीजन इज देर ईज मेन्शन देर फॉर दिस रीजन ऑलसो for this coming up reason also brahma is not negated brahma does not have negation there as per the neti neti shruti hi asmat hi 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 prati hi asmat karanat because of what reason therefore tatah tatha later prapancha nishedanantar after what tatha means can be hetu also here it is we have seen in the uh, sutra meaning earlier तथा इज नॉट तस्मा कारण तथा इज देर आफ्टर तदनतर प्रपंच निषेधान आफ्टर दि निगेशन ऑफ प्रपंच भूय हि ये नरमस्ती नेतिदिष्टा ब्रह्मण अन्यक्त नास्ती ब्रह्म एव तो परमस्ती निर्वचनवाक्य ब्रवीति सो ब्रवीति Praviti says what? Shruti says two things there. Initially, it has said two things, and neti neti also says two things. So it says there is a negation of what? Bhu yaha. It says again. It says he etasmad iti na ityanyat. नेति अन्यत परमस्ती व्हेन इट सेज नेति व्हाट डज इट मीन इट सेज अन्यत परम नास्ति देयर इज नथिंग अदर देन दिस व्हाट एवर हैज बीन मेंशनड एज टू फॉर्म्स ऑफ ब्रह्म मूर्त एंड अमूर्त दे आर निगेटेड इति एतस्मात् नेति नेति इति आदिष्टात् 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 मीन्स आदेशात् just give me a moment a kid is uh, yelling out let me plug in my earphones don't know whether you hear it but then it is uh, too loud on my ears uh, am i still audible am i still audible please? yes yes yeah. it's clear so uh, na iti na iti this is adesha so adishta adishta and adesha see me adishta What आदेश has been made आदिष्टा ब्रह्मण अन्यत व्यतिरिक्त नास्ति देर इज नथिंग अदर देन ब्रह्म देर इज नो ब्रह्म अदर देन ब्रह्म देर इज नो अब्रह्म ऑलसो अदर देन ब्रह्म ब्रह्म एव तो परम अस्ति देर इज ओनली वन ब्रह्म विच इज दी मोस्ट सुपीरियर एंड इट के नॉट बी कॉल्ड एज मोस्ट सुपीरियर बिकॉज दैट इज दी एक्सिस्टेंट थिंग देर इज नथिंग अदर देन ब्रह्म इतर निर्वचन वाक्यम ब्रवीति This is what the statement is actually saying there. By neeti neeti, what is it saying is finally, anyat param nasti. There is nothing other than Brahma. Param param is other. When other is not there, when everything else is negated, then what remains is itself what it is. so there is no question of that being the other brahma is superior or brahma is param other than what there is nothing other nothing can be called as other because there is no other brahma there is no other abrahma also yadva otherwise what tatah thereafter after what 
प्रपंच निषेध से परस्तात अथ नाम धेय इत्यादि वाक्य ब्रह्म ब्रवीति अदरवाइज व्हाट नाम मात्र आफ्टर दैट व्हाट इट्स इज नाम धेय आफ्टर द निषेद ऑफ प्रपंच व्हाट रिमीन्स इट इज जस्ट अ मियर नेम नेम इज मिथ्या देर इज नथिंग एल्स अथ नाम धेय इत्यादि वाक्य ब्रह्म ब्रवीति इट्स इज ओनली नेम इज गिवन टू ब्रह्म ब्रह्मड कैनॉट बिकम एनीथिंग एल्स विच वी सॉ इन दी अदर एग्जाम्पल ऑफ चैत्र एंड मैत्रा एज किड्स हैविंग सम पेट somebody else claims it uh, maitra claims it is to be his pet claims it to be his pet why naming it differently karana ityadi whereas it cannot become karana just because arjuna is being called as karana arjuna cannot become karana arjuna being the pet there ityadi vakyam brahma bharvit it just talks about brahma with another name there is another name and that name is bichha brahma itself is a name but brahma has vipatti artha also as vriddhi which is limitless the purna meaning is there to brahma therefore brahma as a name as akshara as name is mithya but in its meaning as purna as the meaning it is artha it is real इट इज दि ओनली रियल एंटिटी न च प्रपंच निषेधे प्रत्यक्ष विरोध वॉट अबउट दिस प्रत्यक्ष घटपटादि प्रपंच विच आई कीप ऑन सींग कॉग्नाइजिंग वॉट अबउट दैट आस्ति पूर्व पक्षी टू दैट दि आंसर इज प्रत्यक्ष विरोध नास्ति बाय सींग निषेध निषेध डज नॉट मीन प्रत्यक्ष इट वोट बी इट इज अग्नि यू नो इट इज इन कॉग्निशन दैट देर इज अ निगेशन इन अंडरस्टैंडिंग देर इज निगेशन it is not that the gnani sees no prapancha some long discussion uh, came up yesterday somewhere as to because gnani sees prapancha avatara see prapancha therefore what it should be considered as brahma swabhava so somebody said that this is what yoga vasishta says and uh, shankaracharya is not right because uh, he uh, accounts for avidya as a cause ज्ञानी हैज प्रारब्धा दैट प्रारब्धा रिमेन्स एज शरीर ऑफ द ज्ञानी विच इज डीलिंग विथ अदर्स विच यू हैव सीन इन विचार सागर परकृत प्रारब्ध इत्यादि सो दिस ज्ञानी शरीर इट सेल्फ इज प्रारब्ध एंड दैट प्रारब्ध कंटिन्यूज अदरवाइज ज्ञानी शरीर ऑफ फॉलोइंग ऑफ वॉट विल बी द मीन्स फॉर ईश्वरा टू टीच ईश्वरा हू इज द फर्स्ट आचार्य वेदर यू कॉल इट एज नारायण और दक्षिणा मूर्ति शिवा वॉट एवर द फर्स्ट आचार्य फॉर्म इज ऑफ दिस Ishvara, that Ishvara takes avatars to teach as Krishna, Bhagwan, Shiva, ityadi, as Shankara, Acharya, ityadi. Who will teach if the prarabdha is not there? Where will this uh, sampradaya continue? How will this sampradaya be there? How will there be any mukti for any jiva? Any possibility of mukti? There has to be prarabdha acceptable, and this prarabdha for whatever reason it is there. This prarabdha is sharira, and sharira is what? Sharira is tula, and sukshma sharira is karya. Therefore, karana sharira has to be there. Karana sharira has to be inferred. In fact, avidya maya is all inferred from the worldly perspective. There is nothing called as maya or avidya which is really existent. Otherwise, uh, there will be uh, advaita compromise. Therefore, the fact is still that Brahma alone is there. Jnani is Brahma alone. But then, as long as prarabdha sharira continues to be there. avidya is accepted as lesha shesha some part remains but what is this avidya bharjita bija what uh, avidya is bija this is acceptable to everyone avidya is there in shushupti avastha as bija what is the ankura what is the karya what is the vriksha of that samsara vriksha so karana sharira which is avidya gives rise to Two sharira's. Therefore, it is called as karana sharira. Avidya is called avidya itself. Ajnana itself is called as karana sharira. Why? Because it gives rise to stu, sukshma and stula sharira's. And since they are continuing for ajnani, therefore, bija has to be accepted. Karya is there. How can there be vriksha without bija not being there? So we have to say the karya being there, karana has to be accepted. But this karana is not binding on the ajnani. just like avidya earlier was binding on an ajnani jiva when that ajnani becomes a jnani that avidya is no longer binding just like maya although it is same as avidya does not bind ishvara he wields it similarly jnani wields his avidya maya shakti based on the 
ईश्वर कर्म फल धातृत्व बेस्ड ऑन हाउ द कर्म शुड गो टू दि पीपल सो देर इज नो रागद्वेश इन दि ज्ञानी हि इज प्रारब्ध इज ऑल शेष रिमेनिंग ऑफ अविद्या इट सेल्फ दट अविद्या शेष विच इज लाइक अ बर्ंट बीज डज नॉट जर्मिनेट एट ऑल सो भर्जित बीज मत दी लाइक अ बर्ंट सीड रोस्टेड सीड नॉट बर्ंट रोस्टेड सो फॉर वॉट भोगा एव इट इज जस्ट लीडिंग टू सम भोगा दैट्स इट इट देर इज नो कर्तृत्व एट ऑल देर देर इज नो बाइंडिंग देर so you can say bhojana hai na to bhoga hai also that is also possible it you know you can eat the roasted seeds but you can, na phalaya so better word is bhojana uh, hai bhoga hai bhoga there means bhojana for experience it remains experience continues but it is not binding at all it it will not create any more phala karma phala just like a roasted seed you roast the seeds and then you plant nothing will come out of it how much ever you water how much ever fertilizer you put but it will not give rise to a sapling at all it will not grow up in a vriksha but what can you do you can roast and just consume you can eat the seeds and it can become another dish that's all so for gnani it is all all of this is just another dish to be consumed because it is due to him that's all he has done some karma earlier phala continues to be there like a short arrow everything else which was due all that will be burnt in jnana new karma will be burnt as soon as it is created but like an arrow shot cannot be taken out the prarabdha in this janma continues to be there as long as sharira is there such bhoga will also continue to be there but there is no phala there is no binding to the jnani therefore what pratyaksha virodha nasti prapancha nishede prapancha will not go away jnani is still there the prapancha around is seen based on the prarabdha of the jnani he may be in samadhi he may be teaching he may be wandering like a madman whatever is the prarabdha of the jnani based on his puro samskara that will continue therefore puro samskara should be so good that jnana takes place and after jnana also this dharma karya takes place adharma does not continue this is said in the जीवन मुक्ति विवेक ऑफ विद्यारण्यचार्य भगवान विद्यारण्यचार्य तस्य व्यावहारिक प्रामाण्यार इति अनवद्यम व्यावहारिक प्रमाण हैज नो काउंटर टू श्रुति प्रमाण एट ऑल जस्ट बिकॉज सत्यत्व ऑफ द क्ले इज देयर डज नॉट मीन दैट घटा इज नॉट सीन घटा इज सीन बट घटा इज सीन एज क्ले नॉट डिफरेंट फ्रॉम क्ले घटा कंटिन्यूज टू बी क्ले इवन वेन इट इज सीन वन हू नोज दिस सीज इट एज क्ले वन हू डज नॉट नो इज सी सीज इट एज pot which is different from clay things that oh i don't want clay i want pot so he keeps on seeing that difference but gnani does not see such difference therefore vyavaharika pramanya it is only true about vyavaharika vyavahara for vyavahara you say ghata ityadi he may continue to use such names also and he'll continue like an ajnani from the drishti of the ajnanis there need not be any difference there that is why we cannot know who is a brahmanishta who is not a brahmanishta jnani cannot be known by an ajnani therefore bhagwan krishna says when uh, arjuna asks in uh, geeta sita prajna se ka bhasha ityadi what is the behavior of uh, sita prajna does he sit how does he sit etc it is all the same as the ajnani sita prajna is a jnani who has nishta sita prajna yasya sa sita prajna so sita sita prajna jnani all these are having same meaning she does not have any behavioral difference from the onlookers perspective no one can know whether is a jnani or ajnani of course over a long association uh, as to whether his uh, teaching is in keeping with the sampradaya whether his behavior also is in keeping with the sampradaya thereby you can make some assumptions otherwise no one can know an ajnani cannot know jnani nanu yadi brahma asti tarhi upalabhyet tatra okay prapancha is seen ghatapatadi prapancha that is what the what is was the claim made by the puru pakshi therefore prapancha cannot be negated that has been answered now what about brahma which is not indriya gochara 
If Brahma is there, then it should be seen. It is not seen. Tari upalabhyata. No upalabhyate. But it is not. It, it should be seen. It would be seen. It could be seen. But it is not seen. Brahma is seen meaning not cognized by any indriya. Satraha to that. Siddhanti says, Tad avyaktamaha hi. Tad avyaktamaha hi. That Brahma is avyakta. It is unmanifest. You cannot see by indriyas. What is manifest alone can be seen in indri by indriyas. Even akasha cannot be seen by indriyas. As per uh, uh, tarkika, it is not pratyaksha at all. Siddhanti said it is pratyaksha. How it is pratyaksha is to be analyzed. But then it is pratyaksha. Tarkika infers akasha. Avakasha Pradhatru, something should be there for Avakasha. Vayu also is not Pratyaksha, it is inferred. How? A vayu is something that causes this Vriksha uh, Kampanadi Hetuhu. It is a cause for causing movement in the leaves of the tree. So, leaves of the tree or the tree itself. So, you have to infer vayu. They say vayu is not Pratyaksha, it is inferred by such kind of a thing. Akasha also is inferred. Now, Subtle things such as Akasha are not Pratyaksha, but still for the Tarkika we are saying. But still it is there. Then why do you claim that uh, Brahma which is not uh, cognized by the sense organs uh, should not be there? It is Avyakta. Tad Avyaktam. Tad Brahma Avyaktam Aha Hi. Tad Avyaktam Aha Hi. This is the Padacheda. Tad Brahma. Tad is Brahma. Avyaktam. Na Vyajyate Iti Avyaktam. It does not... Uh, you say it, uh, uh, it does not uh, deplete or change. So what it is, it remains what it is. It is Satchidanda Brahma. It has never changed into Prapancha. It is avya, uh, it is avya also, Avyakta. It is not cognized. Na Vyeti iti Avyayam and Na Vyajyate iti Avyaktam. That which does not change is Avyaya. And what is Avyakta, that which does not manifest to the Indriyas, that is Avyakta. Or avyakta is what, you know, as uh, Bhagavan Krishna says, maya tatam idam sarvam avyakta murti na. Avyakta murta, murti. What? Bhagavan is avyakta murti. Brahma has avyakta murti. Avyakta murti is bahuri. Nishta purvam bahuri hau. The nishta pada, avyakta, in a bahuri, goes as a purva pada. So avyakta murti is what? Avyakta murti hi yasya. Yasya brahmana ha. Tad brahma. Avyakta Murti or in uh, Paramatma is Pullinga Avyakta Murti hi. so Bhagavan Krishna says Maya av, saru, Avyakta Murti na Maya idam sarvam tatam all this is pervaded tantu vistare tatam ta pratye vadi vikat tatam all this is tata pervaded pervaded vyapya by whom by me what kind of a me Avyakta Murti me who has unmanifest form, that kind of uh, Krishna with the body, mind, sense complex, that Vasudeva Krishna, Vasudeva Sutta Krishna is not pervading the par prapancha with the body. The Paramatma Tattva, which is Avyakta Murti, which is, the, which is the Avyakta form of this Krishna, is pervading this prapancha. So, that is Avyaktam, Pratyakshadi Agocharam Ityartha. It is not cognized by the sense organs. So, Pratyaksha Pramana cannot be the Pramana for Brahma because it is beyond Pratyaksha Pramana. He, yataha, why he, Yasmat Karanat, aha, Shruti says so. Shruti says so. Shruti says so. Yataha, na chakshusha griyate, na pivacha, ityadi, Shruti raha ityarta. Shruti said so. Says so. What is that? Na chakshusha griyate. By the Chakshurindriya, by the eyes, by the sense organ of vision, of sight, Brahma nagriyate. Brahma cannot be cognized. Atma, Brahmatma cannot be grasped. Na vacha, na api vacha. It cannot be the vachyartha of any shabda. If you say Brahma, what meaning comes to the mind? For an untrained, nothing comes to the mind. So, vacha by the vak also. By the Shabda also, meaning Shabda when the sound, nothing can be known. Shabda Pramana is there. That Shabda Pramana is different from this 
this sound that is heard that shabda is what that shabda is shruti so shruti when understood it reveals something because it has that shakti to reveal the meaning just like each word has shakti put together all words put together in a particular kind of a sentence by the shruti conveys more meaning than individual words vakyartha shabda bodha is always more than the individual meaning uh, meanings of the individual words the sum total of all the word meanings in a sentence proper sentence not you know rama shama put together is not a sentence with a verb ek thing vakyam when the shabda bodha takes place shabda bodha is vakya bodha the sentence meaning the meaning of the sentence is always more than the meaning of the individual words why because it has uh, the pratyaya also supratyaya thing pratyaya also they show connection also sambandha is additional knowledge that you get from vakya so tat and tam padartha are being inquired into these padas first and second pa first pada was vairagya so second pada third pada we are looking at so uh, sorry the second pada that we are looking at the tat and tvam which are being discussed there the tat artha and tvam artha tat padartha and tvam padartha being known will not make the meaning asi being known completely with asi so vakya artha tat tvam and asi when it is known individual words have their, their meaning but when you put tattvamasi in a single vakya the way shruti does when shruti puts that idea is more than the individual word meanings because sambandha is there it shows how the words are connecting to each other and what the pradartha is really tadatmya mukhyartha mukhya samanaadi karanam is revealed by the sentence tattvamasi So, इत्यादि श्रुति राह इत्यर्थ वी लुक एट मोर इन दि नेक्स्ट पाठ आमनयंत संसिद्ध महादी मध्यांत वर्जित आनंद घन महापूर्ण आत्मज्योतिपास्मे नमस्ते धन्यवाद